We're out here building the brand new West End Pier Reef. As you see behind me, construction is going on. It's a brand new reef that's built adjacent to the future pier that will be built for New Orleans area citizens to come on out and enjoy. Uh, they'll be able to fish from the pier, fish over the reef, uh, and it should create some great habitat for, uh, for the fish we like to catch, like speckled trout, redfish, flounder, etc. So it should be a wonderful place for families, for fishermen, uh, for shore-based anglers, for folks in kayaks and canoes, as well as those in boats who might like to pull up as well. So great project, wonderful partners like Chevron, the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, uh, the Parish of New Orleans, uh, or Orleans Parish, uh, punch train materials, uh, and uh, many, many volunteers who make this possible, the Municipal Yacht Harbor as well. So uh, we're very thankful to be out here. It's a great day, uh, and we look forward to a wonderful project. This will be our 19th on the water project since we started this program in 2002. We're very excited to be here today because as West End was devastated during Katrina, it is being rebuilt today. This is the boat launch where we're standing right now that is scheduled to be refurbished very soon. Also, there will be a fishing pier behind us that will give access to the shore-based anglers so they can come on here and enjoy these great fisheries in Lake Pontchartrain with the habitat we're creating today with this artificial reef. This is a very popular area in New Orleans. Folks come out here on the weekends. They just barbecue, fish off the bank, have fun with their families. And this is going to be a great addition. This habitat will make the fisheries better here so that they have opportunity for some of the world-class fisheries of Lake Pontchartrain. So we're very excited about this project and we hope everybody in New Orleans will take advantage of it and use it and have fun with it. Today we're unloading two barges of material. We have one barge that has crushed concrete, the second barge has limestone. And we're putting these materials out in a scientific pattern as established by the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries to make a hard surface on the bottom for marine organisms to attach. Lake Pontchartrain used to have abundant shell beds, but dredging back in the 70s and 80s kind of decimated the natural shell beds, and we just have soft bottoms out there. So putting this hard substrate will give a point for the marine organisms to attach and start the food chain, bringing in the bait fish and then bringing the predators in, the fish we like to catch, the speckled trout, redfish, and flounder. So it's a very exciting day for our CCA and for the anglers and, and for the habitat. How do the fish react to this? Almost immediately, the fish will, will start congregating here because of the change in the bottom profile. You'll have slight variations in the current and eddies and different variations there, but just that hard surface will attract fish. And then when the marine growth starts and the bait starts habitating, it'll really attract fish. And we're just so excited to have it at this great location here that's going to be so accessible, not only for for shore-based anglers, but with this boat launch here, they'll, they'll just be able to go right around the corner and be right on a fishing spot. We're building habitat all across the coastal Louisiana. What's different here is that we don't have a, an, an eroding coastline or a loss of, of habitat. We're really adding habitat into Lake Pontchartrain, which, uh, which is just a great thing for urban fishermen. So many people in an urban setting don't have a boat. And uh, this, once they complete the piers and this project, uh, people will be able to fish from the pier and, and fish off this reef. It'll be a really good opportunity to take kids out and to teach them how to fish. This weekend I took my grandson out and we caught fish in a, and just to watch him go through the process of starting to fish and learning to fish is exciting anytime you're involved with children. Uh, lake Pontchartrain is a, a wonderful fishing lake in Louisiana. It's a large uh, area as well as it's very close to a lot of uh, major cities and they have a lot of access by a lot of different people and so it's a, a great destination fishing spot. Lake Pontchartrain is really interesting because it's this kind of middle ground where it's you have the, the freshwater influxes of uh, Lake Maurepas and some of the rivers on the North Shore and then the, the Gulf through Chef Pass and the Wrigley's and so you get a mix of freshwater species like largemouth bass and catfish as well as saltwater species like speckled trout, redfish and flounder. Uh, the Artificial Reef program is a, a program that was initially started in in the offshore waters through the, the rigs of reef format, um, but we've started to expand on the inshore reefs just because it increases the opportunities and access, um, but it also provides some vitally important uh, complex structures in these inshore waters. We're really excited about this first step of the West End Project renovations, uh, and we look forward to the, the future expansion of the, or the renovation of the boat launch facility and the creation of the new fishing pier.
the department shares costs on, on these inshore reef projects, and so the department puts up the seed money and CCA through its uh, generous sponsors uh, like Chevron uh, help to provide the, the matching funds, and it really stretches the, the, the dollar and it allows us to get a lot more habitat created. Chevron is committed to the communities where we live and work, and that means partnering with groups like CCA and Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries on projects like this reef. Uh, this is just a, a wonderful initiative, a great use of reclaiming materials that would otherwise have probably gone into a landfill or some other area, but instead are going to help Louisiana fishermen be able to come and enjoy the wonderful environment that we have here in Louisiana. What do you think when you take a look at the barge to see all those uh, rocks and concrete hitting the water? Well, right now, you just see rocks and concrete, but uh, in another year or so, this area will be a fishing pier, and you will see local fishermen, families, kids, um, young adults being able to come out here and able to cast their rods and reels and fish. And, and me personally, I'm looking forward to enjoying redfish, trout, drum, um, and all of the, the wonderful fish that we'll be able to, to pull out of that water. I've been fishing in this area almost my entire life. So launching my boat out here, fishing out here has been part of my um, upbringing. Uh, even prior to Katrina, I'm looking right across the harbor at a boathouse that we rented where I kept my boat. So I was out here a lot. The advantages are that there are no other places in Orleans Parish other than Haynes Boulevard to launch a boat to congregate. And this is the perfect area right here looking out on the lake not only to build the boat launch, rebuild the boat launch, but to have a fully ADA compliant pier. We're going to be able to have children, adults with all sorts of disabilities, people that want to fish on the lake, not from a boat, and we're going to give them an advantage of having a reef out there that's going to be a coastal conservation success. We're raising the water table out there that's going to inhabit tons of fish and so the the ability to have all sorts of families friends boats out here to re repopulate this area is a huge score not only for CCA wildlife and fisheries but the city in general the advantage is that without a boat you'll be able to come out here and catch whatever you want you'll be able to catch a redfish a trout a flounder and you'll have the access to the pier being able to spend family time um, and also, uh, like I said before, you're going to have the access to a reef that's going to hold fish. So it's not like you're guessing when you're casting in. Hopefully these kids that haven't caught fish before are going to be out here. They're going to learn how to catch a fish. We're going to have seminars and tournaments, and then they're going to catch the bug. This is a great additional amenity here that we're about to put in place for the citizens of New Orleans. I mean, um, this, this area is, was has extreme devastation and everybody's worked collectively together to put this, these various improvements together and it's a great thing. Well I think quite honestly that's, that's the key to provide recreational opportunities, boating and access to, to water for, for the kids in New Orleans it can't be anything but a positive thing. You, you have to learn how to live with water in New Orleans and what better way than to come to its edge and, and enjoy it. It's, it's a great feeling uh, we go through great expense and we have great sponsors that help put this on and uh, it's just a wonderful uh, feeling to know that we'll have uh, a, an artificial reef right here off the coast of Lake Ponch Train off the West End. This is the 19th time we've done this and, and it, it never gets old. It's always exciting to see these years of work come together through the planning, permitting, coordination, contracting, and all the steps it takes to do one of these projects. So it's great to see it come to fruition and it's always a happy day for everybody. Uh, membership in CCA is unbelievably affordable, first of all. It's only $30 for an annual membership. You get uh, our wonderful uh, magazine, Tide Magazine, an award-winning magazine. You get all of the benefits of membership, uh, but most of all, you get the, the peace of mind to know that you've got a voice when it comes to uh, being a recreational angler, whether it's what's best for our, uh, uh, the conservation of our favorite species or what's right for fishermen. Uh, CCA has got your back, and we're at Baton Rouge and in Washington, D.C. every day doing the work to make sure policymakers keep us in mind when they make, uh, make their decisions. If people have questions, like more information, what should they do? Yeah, real simple. Call us at our Baton Rouge office, 225-952-9200, or you can go to our website at ccalouisiana.com, get all the information you need, and you can even register uh, right there online.